fine in this video see we are going to consider relationships like this if y is equal to a plus bx range of y can be simply computed as modulus of b into range of x mean deviation of y can be simply computed as modulus of b into mean deviation of x these are nothing but the properties of measures of dispersion which say measures of dispersion are affected by the change of scale not by the change of origin okay it they these problems are based on these properties okay let us come to the problems now find the mean deviation from mode listen the observations are these so 8 by 11 is repeated for two times so mode is equal to 8 by 11 now modulus of x minus mode is to be computed 4 by 11 minus 8 by 11 is minus 4 by 11 but you should take it as 4 by 11 because you have modulus 6 by 11 minus 8 by 11 is 2 by 11 8 by 11 minus 8 by 11 is 0 9 by 11 minus 8 by 11 is 1 by 11 12 by 11 minus 4 by 11 is um, 8 by 11 is 4 by 11. 8 minus 8 is 0. So the calculate uh, the total of all these observations, the sum of all these absolute deviations, it is 11 by 11, 1. So what is mean deviation from mode? It is summation modulus of x minus mode divided by n, which is 1 divided by how many values are there? 6. So the answer is option A. Okay. now come to the next uh, problem mean of x is given as a standard deviation of x is b what is the standard deviation of x minus a by b listen carefully let us take this as y is equal to x minus a by b that is y is equal to x by b minus a by b now standard deviation of y is nothing but modulus of 1 by b the coefficient of x 1 by b into standard deviation of x what is standard deviation of x standard deviation of x is given as b so the answer is 1 option 3 option 3 is the correct answer okay now if the standard deviation of x is 3 what is the variance of 5 minus 2x you can do it in two ways you will uh, by this you will have a good idea about uh, the variance of your random variable you will say that variance of 5 minus variance of 2x is equal to 0 minus 2 square into variance of x it is not minus actually it is plus because my variance of a square uh, ax is a square into variance of x so 4 into variance of x you can do this way uh, and uh, otherwise as i told you you can uh, uh, do the problem based on this idea let me go by this method y is equal to 5 minus 2x the coefficient of x is uh, minus 2 the modulus of it is plus 2 okay now standard deviation of y is actually b into standard deviation of x the modulus of b into standard deviation of x that is 2 into standard deviation of x is 3 6 so variance of y is equal to 36 okay you can also do by this method and if you go by this method standard deviation of x is given so variance of x will be the square of it here again the answer is 36 okay now if this is the relationship between the two variables and the standard deviation of x is given find the standard deviation of y right now 2x plus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 you have y on one side so you get minus 4 minus 2x and y is equal to minus 4 by 3 minus 2 by 3x this is your b right so modulus of b is 2 by 3 now standard deviation of x is given as 6 so standard deviation of y is equal to modulus of b into standard deviation of x that is 2 by 3 into 6 that is 4 your answer is option a okay now the next question if 3x plus 4y equal to 20 is the relationship quartile deviation of x is 12 what is the quartile deviation of y uh, once again uh, please do remember you bring everything uh, it uh, to the right except y okay everything to the right side with respect uh, except the term involving y so 4y is equal to 20 minus 3x y is equal to 20 divided by 4 minus 3 by 4x this is actually your b your modulus of b is then 3 by 4 so quartile deviation of y is 
modulus of b into quartile deviation of x that is 3 by 4 into quartile deviation of x is 12 given as 12 ok so the answer is 9 option b is the right answer ok now if the range of x is 2 find the range of minus 3x so a new variable is given minus 3x plus 50 the coefficient of x in that variable is taken as b then modulus of b is equal to plus 3 so range of y is equal to modulus of b into range of x you can also uh, have this verification with a simple example okay uh, modulus of b is 3 into range of x is 2 the answer is 6 option b is the right answer if quartile deviation of x is uh, 6 what is the quartile deviation of y if uh, 3x plus 6y is equal to 20 is the relationship between the variables so you have y is equal to minus two, sorry it is plus 20 minus 3x by 6 so your b here is minus 3 by 6 which is equal to minus 1 by 2 so modulus of b is plus 1 by 2 so quartile deviation of y is equal to modulus of b into quartile deviation of x modulus of b is 1 by 2 quartile deviation of uh, x is 6 so the answer is 3 option b ok now if x bar is 10 coefficient of variation is 40 find sigma it is given that sigma by x bar into 100 is coefficient of variation sigma is not known x bar is 10 into 100 is equal to 40 right so your standard deviation is simply 40 by 10 4 answer is option d okay now what is the standard deviation of a and b only two observations are there so the mean of the observations is a plus b by 2 okay now how will you compute standard deviation standard deviation is defined as summation square root of summation x minus x bar the whole square divided by n so i should compute a minus a plus b by 2 the whole square plus b minus a plus b by 2 the whole square the numerator is this divided by 2 and take the square root okay that is going to be my answer so let me try i have 2a minus a minus b by 2 the whole square plus 2b minus a minus b by 2 the whole square i have taken 2 as the lcm by 2 right 2a square root is there 2a minus a is a so i have a minus b the whole square by 2 here minus a 2b minus b is b so b minus a the whole square by 2 the square is also for the denominator right by 2 you should take the square root so you have 2 times of a minus b the whole square by 4 divided by 2 right you take the square root of it so you get modulus of a minus b by 2 because you know standard deviation will not be negative so even if you take square root of this model you get only modulus of you okay, you have either minus a minus b or plus a minus b but you should take it as modulus of a minus b because you should understand that standard deviation cannot be negative so in that case answer is option c okay see here uh, if I try to write it uh, with as y is equal to something, I will be having this. My b is minus 4 by 3, which means modulus of b is 4 by 3. So, mean deviation of y is 4 by 3 into mean deviation of x, which is 5.40. 4 into 7.40. y is equal to 2x plus 5 the standard deviation of x is given x bar is given you should find the coefficient of variation so to find the coefficient of variation you need the standard deviation of y as well right mean of uh, uh, y also you should know so y is equal to 2x plus 5 what is expectation of y or mean of y mean of y is equal to 2 times into mean of x 
plus 5 right with this these type of problems which we have discussed in the previous videos right mean of x is 10 plus 5 25 now we need standard deviation of y that is this 2 into standard deviation of x which is 5 10 so your coefficient of variation is sigma by y bar this is for y right so y bar into 100 standard deviation of y by y bar is 25 into 100 the answer is 40 okay now uh, let us stop with this problem today thank you